I will let you know how to quickly get started with this new sensor from DF Robots. Now this sensor is called the gesture and touch sensor. So after watching this video, you will come to know how to use this particular sensor with your Arduino board or maybe ESP32 board. Then I will also let you know which library you should use to use this particular sensor with the Arduino IDE. After that, I will also let you know how many type of gestures this sensor can recognize and how many touch pins are there in this particular module. And in the end, I will show you a small demo project by using this same sensor. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know everything regarding this sensor. So let's get started. Now this is the sensor from DF Robot, what they called as a gesture and touch sensor. I will leave the link of this product in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and click that link to buy this particular sensor. Now as you can see there are 5 touch pins on the sensor which are labeled as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So these are 5 touch pins and this sensor can sense 7 different kind of gestures. Now what are the 7 different gestures? We'll talk soon in this video. So first of all, I will let you know how to use this sensor with the Arduino Mega Board, okay? So the connections of this sensor with the Arduino Mega Board are something like this. So this is how the connection looks like. Now let's jump to the coding of this particular sensor, okay? Now for using this sensors, you need to have this DF Robot Gesture Test Library installed on your Arduino IDE. So first of all, go to this particular page whose link is attached in the description. Click on this download button, click on download zip and a zip file will be downloaded onto your, you know, system. Now what you need to do is, you just need to open up the Arduino ID, click on sketch, include library, add zip library. Now go to the location where the file is just downloaded. So here is the DF robot gesture touch master, so I'll click here and click on this choose button. As the library is already installed on my system, it's showing one error that a library names the F about gesture touch already exists. Okay, so this is how you need to install the library. Now, after installing the library, go to files, examples, then here you will find a new option called df robot uh, gesture touch master then here are the two examples already provided by this company so we'll click on this simple gesture code first okay okay the gesture code is already open on my system now here as you can see the software serial is enabled here with the 10 and 11 pin so this pin will work both for arduino mega as well as arduino uno board so don't need to worry and in case if you attach the esp32 the code will automatically recognize the board and use this hardware serial of esp32 so you can use hardware serial 2 and just connect the sensor at this particular pin of esp32 and the same code will work in esp32 as well okay as of now i will do the testing on my arduino mega board so i will leave everything as it is we'll select the right board and port so the board is Arduino Omega and the port is already selected and I will click on this upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded now let's just test what different kind of gestures the sensor can recognize so we'll open the serial monitor and uh, let's press this recent button so it says gesture and touch sensor test so I will first of all test the touch pin of this particular sensors okay so here is the touch one okay touch two this is nice three four five yeah the touch pins are really very sensitive and accurate as well okay so the touch pins are perfectly working now let's just test the gesture so there are seven different kind of gesture it can recognize so first is this forward and backward so these are two gestures and left right these are another two gestures there are four gestures another gesture which i found very cool is this pull up and pull down gesture so this is like pull up and release okay pull down and release okay pull up release okay pull down release so pull up pull down left right back forward and release so there are seven different kind of gesture this particular tiny sensor can recognize and i just really love this pull up and remove pull down and remove i just uploaded a, a demo a story of this particular sensor by using this particular pull up and pull down gestures in which i am increasing the brightness of the leds with pull up gestures and decreasing by the pull down gestures which seems really interesting okay so yeah these are the sen uh, these are the different kind of gestures the sensor can recognize and it's perfectly working okay so this is how you can use this sensor with the arduino mega board and the same sensor will work with the esp32 board as well till now the sensor is not at all compatible with the esp8266 devices like node mcu it's only compatible with esp32 and arduino boards okay so don't try with the uh, node mcu it won't work talking about the second example code they provided which is a gesture keyboard if i'm not wrong let's see 
yeah it's gesture keyboard uh, but this particular code only works with the arduino leonardo board which i don't have right now okay so this code is particular for this particular arduino hardware only talking about this particular example code so in this code we can type you know characters onto our system using this particular device like do the gesture back to type a do the forward gesture to type b and likewise we can enter different characters alphabets by using this particular sensor but for that we need to have this leonardo board now if you have the leonardo board do send me a video by you know running this gestured keyboard example code on your board okay do send me the video okay so this was all about the example code now moving on to the last part of this video which is the demo project which i have created using this particular sensor so that small demo project is i am using this neo pixel led strips along with this 3d gesture sensor so i will be changing the animation by the gesture and i will also be changing the brightness of this leds with another gestures okay so let's see how the demo project looks like okay so basically the connections of this neopixel sensor and the arduino board is something like this okay so i successfully made all the connections here on the hardware i'm talking about the software so this is the code which i already prepared for this demo project in which the neopixel strip is attached to pin 7 of this arduino board okay so let's just uh, click on the right board and port and click on this upload button so the code is successfully uploaded so in this demo project what i did is with every touch pin i attach a different color for this particular led strip so for touch 1 it is red color for touch 2 it is green color for touch 3 it is blue and for this and for 5 this color so these are different colors for different touch and for pull up and pull down i am using the brightness control option so if i pull up this the brightness will increase as you can see and if i release the brightness will stay as it is okay and if i pull it down the brightness will go on decreasing 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 and zero so this is how i use the pull up and pull down gesture to increase and decrease the brightness okay so this is how i use the pull up gesture which is very interesting and for changing the modes i have used the forward and backward gesture so it's like uh, if i do like this so this sensor recognizes the forward gesture and the mode changes to blink let's change this another okay it's breathe mode which is not at all working perfectly let's just change to another mode this is color wipe mode as you can see it is working okay so by this forward gesture you can change the code and by this backward gesture you can go on the previous uh, you know mode let's do the backward gesture as you can see the initial stage was 8 and it uh, moved back to 7 so with this forward and backward gesture we can change the mode of this particular neopixel strip with this pull up and pull down gesture we can increase and decrease the brightness of this particular strip so yeah this was my demo project which i made using this particular sensor and this neopixel strip i hope you enjoyed this getting started video and got to know how to use this particular sensor do let me know in the comments about what type of projects you can make or you can think of using this particular gesture and touch sensors i just really loved this pull up and pull down gesture so it's amazing and the range of this gesture is up to 30 centimeters so it can detect the you know gestures up to the range of 30 centimeters okay so yeah this was all about this video i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know your project ideas and suggestions regarding this particular sensor in the comment of this video subscribe my channel if you haven't to see more such kind of getting started videos of latest sensors and products other than this getting started video, I used to make a variety of videos in this magical field of electronics. And hey, also let me know if you want an explained video about this sensor in which I may let you know about the working principles and the technology used behind this sensor. Do let me know if you are interested. So yeah, just wait for my next one to explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.